The Homeland Security Bill is ratified. After eight years, British borders will remain closed. The deportation of illegal immigrants will continue. People who do make it to the UK will be taken not to hotels at vast public expense. Rather, they will be housed in accommodation centres like those in Greece, with the first of these to open shortly. At the same time, we are expanding our immigration detention facilities to assist with the removal of those with no right to remain in the UK. We're investing over half a billion pounds in those efforts and this is on top of overhauling our arrivals infrastructure here in Kent. So from today, our new migration and economic development partnership will mean that anyone entering the UK illegally, as well as those who have arrived illegally since January the 1st, may now be relocated to Rwanda. This innovative approach, driven by our shared humanitarian impulse and made possible by Brexit freedoms, will provide safe and legal routes for asylum while disrupting the business model of the gangs. Because it means that economic migrants taking advantage of the asylum system will not get to stay in the UK, while those in genuine need uh, will be properly protected, including with access to legal services on arrival in Rwanda. And given the opportunity to build a new life in that dynamic country, supported by the funding we are providing. The deal we've done is uncapped, and Rwanda will have the capacity to resettle tens of thousands of people in the years ahead. And let's be clear, Rwanda is one of the safest countries in the world, globally recognized for its record of welcoming and integrating migrants. And with the summer heat and people landing on British beaches in dinghies, a perennial issue that slipped out of public consciousness has, among all that turbulence, come back. Asylum and immigration.